Dating in the 21st century, man, get prepared. Guys, what girls want is not money. I want care. I want loving. I want TLC, tender loving care. Stop thinking all I want is money, but if you give it to me, I'll take it. I'll take it. It doesn't mean I'm a good digger. I'm not dig it or you just gave me. It's like walking on the road and finding good. Man, would you take it? Me, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> weekend you're welcome to chica's corner my name is chica and as always i am happy to be here so today we're going to be talking about something that we know of but something that we hardly address and that's why i'm here to address it so today we're going to be talking about dating in the 21st century so we're going to be going off this quote this quote is very popular on the internet and it says dating in the 21st century is by far the most ridiculous process ever it's like one has to play a game you must lie you have to act like you don't care even if you do you must date multiple people to keep the attention of one because it's usually just casual and you don't know which of them will be so quick to quit you must act unavailable because if you are too available people get turned off and you will lose your value you have to ignore texts and calls so you don't look desperate even if you want to answer them like my god Essentially, if you're a true lover, you have to resist everything that comes natural to you in order to play this crazy game everyone is playing called dating. This is dating in our generation and it is a very stupid game. So that's how I feel, like dating in this generation is somewhat exhausting. Like when I was growing up, I used to think dating was just, you know, boy meets girl, um, boy try to act girl out but girl doesn't like give like positive responses the first three times because you know she doesn't want to seem too cheap so like maybe the guy tries the fourth time and she definitely says yes and they have something good going on and it comes to sex and the girl is not like nah 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 i'm a virgin and stuff 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 even if she's not she has to be a virgin because oh, well she has to be a good girl and guys now trying to get her to you know trust me with your feelings trust, trust me with your body you know i will love you forever and ever and ever and ever and you know he begs like one two three four one million times <laughs> and they finally get down and you know but <laughs> in this day and age let me let me let me give you a typical instance your whole social media instagram especially somebody like 10 of your pictures right that's really likes 10 of your pictures and you're wondering mm, I see you boy, what you up to? And he comes to your DM, hey, and you're like, ha. you don't reply too instant, you don't reply fast, because if you reply like that, it means that you don't have job. So you now reply like, after like three, four hours, and you're like, hi. The person says, my name is blah, 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 blah. Can I know more about you? When the person says, can I know more about you? Just X like, Pfft. boring. But if the person says, let me call you later, you're like, okay, mm -hmm. okay, we could do this. Then you guys set up a meeting day. Then you guys meet, and that day y'all meet. You guys are trying to, you know, converse, eating, then and like looking through your phones at the same time. But if you are looking through your phones, you're looking at his phone. He's lo you're looking at your own phone. He's looking at his own phone. Then you guys are not. At the end, like you guys are not trying to have like a meaningful conversation. Like three hours later, if it's up to that time, or then he he pays for everything on the day. And while you you're just making notes like side notes what are the things i'm going to tweet about this date after this date is over am i going to tweet that he's a broadcast let me know so at the end of it blah blah blah, blah. then y'all just decide like you know what let's hook up because he, he now says netflix and chill then you go to his house and y'all have sex and you now decide is the sex good enough for me to stay that's the conversation you you're having with yourself as a girl why the guy is saying mm, Ah, no, 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 Shalewa on the Instagram is still finer than this for me I have it. Ah, mm, mm, no. Then y'all are in the limbo for about like a while. Then y'all are trying to, you know, you guys are forming hard guy. Like, I don't want to ask him. I don't want to DTR. You know what DTR is now. Define the relationship. Nobody wants to DTR. Because once you DTR, you become desperate. You become all those girls that don't have life. That now want to come and start disturbing man. And asking questions. What are we doing now? What are we doing now? No, you're not supposed to ask that. You're supposed to just let it flow, you know. You're supposed to just go with the flow, you know. 
then y'all become strangers and you meet somebody else and now ah, that cycle goes on and on again and that's how that happens and i'm wondering like who, why did this things just turn so sour so fast i mean very less vulnerability people don't want to show their soft side everybody's hard guy hard guy like you're a hard guy. I don't care what you're thinking. I'm a hard guy. If you want to up and leave, up and leave right now because I don't care because there are thousands of girls like you and finer, got bigger booty, bigger boobs on the internet. The minute you leave and go, the minute you up and leave, I'm going to get someone better. And I think that idea of get someone better, I, I'm of that school of thoughts too. But according to the internet that I have read, they said it's one of the things that's killing uh, dating in this generation where people don't want to stick by their partner because they always feel like they will get someone better. Okay. Um, dating in the 21st century also, um, everything is insta instant, everything. We have instant messages, we have social media, everything, Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, Snapchat, everything is so instant. Like. The minute you send a text, the person on the other side gets it. So communication has been made easier. But funny thing is, people are talking 24-7, but nobody's communicating. You feel deep. Um, it's good, like, but at the same time, it makes finding love so hard. It's like stepping through a landmine. That's it. So you're stepping through a line landmine, so you're just walking. No, oh, no, no, no. I don't know what I want to do. If I do this, this guy might lose interest. If I do this, this guy might lose interest. So that's what they said in the first thing is too instant. Meant in my generation, is a hard thing to do. You can't, you can't just stay committed. Uh, the most popular thing is to have a guy, the one that you truly like. That's one. To the one that gives you money. Then three, the ultimate bestie who can, you know, bring it out once in a while. And so we have, we have, you know, imbibed this culture so hard that it has eaten into our psychological state that we don't even trust people when the like when authentic people come to us like with great intentions and i know of sometimes when you actually have great intentions well, some people start out love actually really good they start out love very intentional very great very awesome very true then they get their hearts broken one time two times like once beaten one million times shy because what what do you want me to do now like they've broken my heart too many times so time to get in this game so people don't want to be committed that's why you see we have we have baby mamas baby daddies that's a thing now we have more babies more pregnancies than marriages i don't know who created the dating rules of this century it's actually quite annoying don't reply instantly play the liking game for a while um, when you don't be too quick to pick up your phone let the phone ring for two three times before you pick it all guys feel like all girls want is money and girls feel like all guys want is sex is it true i don't know is it can't tell you <laughs> this century is it's an extreme sport you actually have to be ready for anything it's a game it's Either you play the game or they play you in the game. So either way, you're going to be in the game. It's either they play you. So like you have, it doesn't have to be so stressful, man. Like guy, it doesn't have to be so stressful. Why? Why are you stressing me? Please stop. Honestly, stop stressing me. It doesn't have to be so stressful. Like you have, you have there's this constant fear that somebody's going to take your man or your woman. There's never this self-assurance maybe because of like experience or hearsays but this somebody is gonna take my man and you should do by yourself for yourself and for your own peace of mind be happy oh please i cannot overemphasize that point be happy in your own skin do what you love love what you do do what you love learn a new language learn a new skill travel the world do something different Start cooking, get culinary skills, something, do something you love. Stop holding on for a man to come. You know, some, at some point, I, I started asking the question that people, there are eight spheres of life, life of every individual. Spirit, I might not get all the eights now, but I can just say there's, um, there's the financial, there's the spiritual, there's the physical, there's emotional. 
Ooh, that's the um, career path. Like, there are eight phase of life, but all I hear somebody talk about is relationship, relationship, relation. But I, it's good because you come to my blog to get those advice. But it doesn't matter. Like, there are seven other spheres of your life. Bruh, do something with your life. Like, get a life, my nigga. <laughs> but still, I have to say that even after making terrible mistakes, trusting the wrong person and trying to, you know, oust somebody else and do things just for the clout of it, you also have the potential to find um, someone that will truly understand your person and will help you through your journey as an individual, not just your emotional journey, but your spiritual, your physical, your career, everything that concerns you as an individual. And that that part of it is actually very exciting and very brightening. So it might not be now, it might not be here now, it might not have come yet, but don't worry, trust the process, trust the ride. But look at what some other guys had to say about dating in the 21st century. Dating in the 21st century is, what's the world, what's the world, shitty. Like, it's not even dating. Who said dating? Not me. It's not dating. It's just, like, I meet you, you meet me, we talk for a while, and then have something to do with each other for a while, and we're strangers. So it's just a circle, and then it keeps going on and going on and going on like that. It's not dating. We're not even dating again. We're just having fun. Okay, so I think dating in the 21st century is like an extreme sport now. There are all these rules standards and you hear some and you're wondering like who said this when 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 did this when did this become a thing you know yeah so it's exhausting dating in the 21st century is algebra <laughs> i feel like they're just it's the math basically just a lot of calculations jeez you have to calculate a lot of things no exact formula <laughs> Dating in the 21st century is like a vicious cycle of trust, screw-ups, subsequent mistrust, and fallouts, okay? Guy meets girl, then you both have expectations of what the other person is supposed to be. And when you finally find out that they are not this unrealistic expectation that you have, rather than trying to get to know this person and probably seeing if you can accept them, you just throw the old relationship away and then the cycle repeats itself over again so we just go on and on and that's just it uh, to me 21st century dating is just like playing a stupid game mm -hmm. where the loser catches feelings first so that's just it hey guys my name is kima so we're talking about dating in the 21st century right uh, you know, it used to be like there was a prototype. When you do certain things, you expect certain results. When a guy takes you to his mother, you know, he's serious. And when a girl takes you to her parents and you get comfortable around them, you know, you know, something is actually, something good is going on. But these days, gambling is like gambling. You feel like you've mastered your art, you've dotted your eyes, you've crossed your T's. And at the end of the day, it's all just going to creep up on you like you were not even crossing a T. It was an F. Okay, people, welcome back to Chica's Corner. That's what a lot of folks had to say about it, dating in the 21st century. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in to Chica's Corner today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe down there, below. Subscribe. It's just right there. Subscribe right now. 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 <laughs> <laughs> subscribe please thank you very much and you can follow me on instagram at official chica underscore also on twitter and until next time this is still chica's corner and i will see you next weekend love ya bye ya